Hello and welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing the second episode of the first Punic War, titled Battle of Mile. Let's go ahead and get started. The Romans have not ceased their meddling. More disturbingly, they have studied one of your wrecked warships and are using it as a model to build an entire fleet. These ships will allow them to protect their supply lines from Italy, keeping their armies in Sicily equipped and reinforced. The first of these new vessels are nearing your positions off the coast of Miley. To demonstrate the futility of challenging Carthage at sea, capture the Roman supply carts and bring them back to your base. May Baal Haman guide you. Alright, so, wow, we have a much bigger map this time. Our main objectives are to bring two war chests containing Roman supplies to the blue flagged area on your island, or to defeat both of your opponents, the Syracusans and the Romans. Alright. Our hints tell us that we can now support a population of 75 and have access to the Bronze Age. Nice. This allows you to train new units such as warships, cavalry, cavalry, and siege weapons. Build coastal towers to defend against the Roman navy while you construct your own, and explore the map for additional resources. Let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, let's send all four villagers to the start over there. We have 16 pop space. Let's build a fishing boat. And have our force of four slingers do a little bit of exploration of our side of the map. We got stone mines up there to leverage if we need to. We can leverage our fleet for fishing fleet for food. Okay, we have housed ourselves already. I forget that houses are in such short supply here. That is something about Age of Empires 1. You can produce units so quickly. There's a lion here. Can Slingers take out a lion? That is sad. Slingers... Four Slingers are barely able to fight a lion. That's kind of crazy. Okay, gold pile up there. Very nice. Stone pile back here too. This looks like a good candidate for a future town center up here. Let's keep scouting about. We got six wood choppers, seven food gatherers. More wood choppers coming through by the second. Let's start training scout ships here. Get more housing online. There are shallows here. Alright, interesting. But the shallows don't seem to extend all the way to the other side of this landmass. Let's scout the coastline a little bit with our scout ship. Okay, I'd like to build a market. We'll probably come under attack from transport ships at some point. Let's have our idle military units scout this area here. Keep training the bills. I don't think we need this many stone miners to be honest. Okay. 
Alrighty. Let's get a stable online as our military okay. building. Lots of food to be fished up in these waters. Okay, we've got some scout ships to contend with. That's fine. We're still saving for the next stage here. Logan? Soon. Very soon. Where did our... Okay, I thought we lost one of our slingers somehow. Finish this vill and then queue up the next age. got going here let's do woodworking here increase our ship range and our wood chopping speed looks like the Romans are still running scout ships despite being only in or already in the Bronze Age so we should try to leverage that while we can. Okay, we've reached the Bronze Age. Very nice. Let's pick up wheel tech here. Let's upgrade to War Galley. Pick up another scout ship. Turn out some more vills, send them to wood. Pick up Sentry Tower tech. And our coastline is looking more and more secure. Broken? Let's build ourselves a government center here. And as we do that, we we'll keep build production coming out. So far, this has been a very peaceful mission. Upgrade to fishing ship. Okay, 
Lori. Have all of you guys. Hunt here. Let's build a storage pit so that we can go for wood there later. You guys are done with stone. Just in time for us to finish our government center. Let's send you back to wood. Let's have you go over here. Next set of 200 wood is going to go towards a town center. Let's build that town center now. Let's get another dock online here. Okay, over at the market, let's get our next artisanship, our next wood cutting upgrade here. Still under no pressure whatsoever. Are we able to go to the Iron Age? Sure, we can go to the Iron Age. Why not? What are the Carthaginians good at? Elephant, Camel, Naval Civ. Okay, let's let's look. They get Heliopolises or Helipolises. Cavalry, heavy cavalry, war elephants. They also get heavy uh, heavy infantry here. Academy units get extra HP. I mean, screw it. I'm just gonna I'm just build an academy. My pop cap is what, 75? So we got plenty of pop space too. Pick up domestication so that when we inevitably start farming, we'll be in good shape. It's not too much gold on this map, in fact. So we may want to be careful about how we marshal that. These guys just wipe out my whole fishing fleet? No. They did not. They are merely launching a counterattack. Let's build some more houses here. Send you to gold, that's fine. Let's go for plow. Send more villas to wood here. We did lose a good chunk of our navy, so let's rebuild before we start our next round. Yeah, our fishing fleet is doing work. Let's stage another raid onto the enemy dock here. Okay, 
He actually converted a dock or a boat. What the hell? It's messed up. Their religious powers are too strong. No, 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 don't get converted, don't get converted. Priests used to scare the crap out of me too. They still do, in fact. And rightfully so, I believe. Uh, but fortunately, once we've hit a critical mass of boats here, it seems like we can do what we please against the reds here. Okay, we'll save up some food and soon advance to the Iron Age. fast enough we can capture these gold piles away from red. Make them think twice. Not sure what that pathing is, but we are cleaning up the enemy navy here. Red seems to run broad swordsmen, nothing to be afraid of. We're under attack at home. How do I garrison? My hockey is not working. Great. Perfect timing from Red, honestly. Fortunately, I did have some soldiers here at home. And we've long since gathered the required resources to advance to the next age here. Let's do that at this TC over here. Enemy did a good number on our navy here. Mm. 
leave a wreck on it. So, uh, knowing that red produces so many priests, I think that running hope flights is not the best idea. Might be good to mix in some chariots also. Okay, the Romans have made it to the Iron Age. Oh, these soldiers are not long for this world. Yeah, we have a staging ground, but it is rough. We'll leave these soldiers back here as guards. Let's pick up Trireme. Let's get uh, stables online here. It's not too bad, all things considered. Let's have you do a monastery here, or rather a temple. Okay, our ships are doing great work here. Let's pick up the craftsmanship. Increase the range even more. Keep blasting these boys from the water. The towers did their job here. Can I research anything that allows me to Where's this conversion here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Our island foothold has been established here, and I will say, compared to the first mission, this one is really ramping up the intensity. War elephants cost way more food here. Let's do irrigation. And keep sailing downwards. Logan, Hilare, Hombis, 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 Hombis. I don't want to allow Red back onto the water.
Okay, did I get everything at the storage pit? No, I could use this. I could use the basic tier of leather armor. Sure, let's upgrade to guard tower, why not? We'll do sight range for buildings also. We've hit the population limit, lovely. Sentry tower here. Have our scouts scout this area a bit more. I want to destroy Red's temple here. So I'll need to scout out where exactly it is. Fortunately, in Age of Empires 1, ships only cost wood. And we've got plenty of that stuff. It's a heavy war elephant for pop efficiency. I would like to get these fellas involved. Let's upgrade to heavy transport ship. Did I see anything interesting? Okay, temple, siege workshop. I need here is a big huge squad of units to come to test at the same time instead of trickling my boys in one at a time here. Okay, let's do tower shield, why not? Rogan? 
Okay, we're not gonna need too much wood for a little while here. So let's focus on the land now. We are finally able to make some inroads here. We've crushed the Bowen population. Villagers are starting to leak out. Let's take care of the barracks here. The war of attrition is going in our favor with uh, elite war elephants. The enemy seems to have run out of resources, maybe. are doing crazy damage here though. They are laying waste to Red's base now. have resigned. Excellent. We grabbed one of their artifacts. Very cool. That only took forever. We can now use our fleet to crush yellow maybe. Yellow did reach the Iron Age before us. Or rather, not just before us, but first. Let's see what these folks have in store for us here. The Syracusians seem to be the much less threatening foe. Yeah, short swordsmen, heavy catapult, or rather catapults are pretty scary, but... Their island is much smaller. We may be able to just defeat them from the water. I do not see a town center from these guys or any villagers. There's a priest over there though. Dude, that priest is so fast! Yeah, in fact, the Syracusans may only just be guarding some resource deposits for us. So we may have done this slightly out of order here. They have an artifact there though. Let's 
let's capture the artifact. Okay. Let's see what happens first. The, Secu uh, the Syracusans give up or we bring the artifact back to the flagged area. Seems like... Oh! That's just a tower. They should have some soldier somewhere that's preventing them from surrendering. That doesn't really matter. We'll bring these guys back to the flag area and win. Okay. Nice. Victory is ours. I think they surrendered, in fact, just a couple of moments before we're going to bring the second war chest back. Um, surprisingly tough scenario. It wasn't super difficult since we were never in really any particularly big danger in our homeland here. But the reproduction rate of the soldiers back here was pretty crazy. I think we had to drain them of their resources before the tide of priests finally stemmed itself a little bit. Um, knowing that the Syracusans are the weak enemy is useful. It's not immediately evident that they're the weaker one, aside from the score. They do start in the Iron Age. I guess it's because they don't have a town center to advance there. So it is a little bit confusing at the start. It makes it seem like the Syracusans are the more threatening foe. Um, but obviously they are not. They just have a storage pit here uh, guarding some resources. But uh, yeah, all in all, not a super difficult scenario, even though we did things somewhat out of order. Uh, but it was much more difficult than Struggle for Sicily, that's for sure. Uh, kind of jarring, in fact, going from Tool Age directly to Iron Age. That seems super strange. Not really understanding the continuity there, but sure, I guess. Uh, the third mission will be the Battle of Tunis, and I will take care of that one later. Anyway, my name is The Clever Fool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.